Welcome to another Win Win Wednesday, week 94. Now something I want to talk about today, even though it's hotter than ah outside, I want to talk about self-acceptance. I want to talk about why people are living in an altered state of mind. It's just something that I constantly try to, I try to figure out, I try to understand, I try to just grasp my mind around why people need to live in an altered state of mind. Yes, that happens to be, you know, sometimes with drugs. That happens to be with, you know, alcohol. Like sometimes, you know, I can't have a good time unless, you know, I'm drinking. I can't have a great time, you know, unless I'm chilling with my friends, you know, doing drugs. But I also want to wonder, like, sometimes, like, why do you accept things that are, when life is going bad, you try to make things good. You try to think that everything's good and great and everything's fine and happy when things aren't. I mean, you need to live in the reality. You need to live in the acceptance of the way your life is. When you are accepting the way your life is, that's when you can grow. You can start building on top of a foundation of reality, a foundation of self-awareness, a foundation of realness with yourself, being honest. You got to be able to trust yourself and know, you know what? I'm messing up. I'm not doing good. I'm actually falling off the horse. Things aren't as great as I perceive them to be. It's because so many of us are comparing our lives on social media instead of worrying about our own lives, focusing on what we're doing, where we're trying to go, and where we're trying to build. But that is the problem. We're always trying to compare. We're not accepting of who we are. But here's the other thing. The things that you can control in your life, a lot of you aren't. You're just letting things go just as they are. I mean, like water on a... Going down a hill, it's just going to take the path of least resistance. I mean, that's just going to make for free falling and most of the time ending up in a bad spot along with everybody else. I want you to go against the grain. I want you to go float upriver, just like when salmon need to go breed. They go upstream. They're going after it, but they do it for a purpose, for a reason. They don't give up. They keep going and going and they grind until they reach their ultimate success and what they want. You know how many people hit me up that are into partying, this ultimate great lifestyle, this just, I'm so... Having fun, you know, partying, constantly, you know, just whatever, don't care about nothing, always going out, always doing this and that. You know, it's the reality is sometimes, you know, with my C9 Life, what's came out, those same people have sent me pictures of them at night with tears going down their face. Those same people have sent me pictures of inside their fridge with let's just say a couple items that are in it and they're tired of living that way and a lot of times people are faking the reality it's because they're not accepting of like what it is and I hate seeing that I truly hate seeing it and that's why I spend my time helping people try to help others I try to get people that C9 life mindset that think be stay positive in every stay in every single way that mindset that you got to live you and forget everything to get out of the trap that you're in. How many of your friends are actually really caring that you only got a few things in your fridge and want to help you grow and build, you know, and get better? A lot of times the people you're chilling with, their fridges look the exact same. And there's a reason some of you are starting to hit rock bottom and you're hitting me up. You're trying to find ways to get out of there, trying to find ways to get out of that, that downward spiral that you became so accustomed to that you haven't realized because you've lived in an altered state of mind, trying to escape the reality of what life is. But eventually, you're going to get down in a hole where you can't get out and you're going to start looking at some uh, options that nobody even wants to re remotely even talk about, not even me. And I've been in those options. And that's why I try to help people and help people grow, get out of those aspects. You got to accept what things are, where they're at in your life at this moment. Accept if things are great, accept that. If things aren't great, accept that. Accept the things that are once that you can have later in life, but the things you need in life, who you are, self-worth, self-love, you do not compromise for that. You do not accept that. Unless it is 100%, you love yourself, you love where your life is going, you love your mindset, you love the progression and seeing where you're headed. I do not want you to accept a mediocre life when you are unhappy. I do not want to see this. I'm all happy and glamorous, you know, at 3 p.m., but when it's time for you to go to bed and you're hungry and your little drugs are wearing off and you're not chilling around your friends and you're alone, those are when people are messaging me. Those are when people are really reaching their reality. 
Well, what do they do? They sleep. They wake up, they get right back in an ultra state of mind again. Because they don't have anybody to support and get them out of there. That's what I am here for. That's why I do my videos. That's why I do my Windows and Wednesdays. That's why I do what I do. I understand completely. I have been there. Trust me. I do not want you to live there, but along the way to success, to a better life, you are going to have to pull those scissors out and cut people out of your life. If those people, those friends, but we're going to call them people in this instance, are not willing to grow with you, to understand where you're trying to be at, represent, and actually embark with you on this journey of self-preservation and self-acceptance to a better life that you know you deserve and you live, you got to pull those scissors out and cut those people out of your life. They will only drag you down. You don't need any more weight in your life. It is hard enough, but those same people can suck you back into that terrible life. And it's so hard. It's the letting go. You have to accept losing is a part of growing. Growth is where you're going to have to leave some people behind. Please do not get others trapped. You're going to have to fight, scratch, claw, and do whatever you got to do to get to your version of a C9 life. But you're going to lose people. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose everybody you thought was there for you. It's going to get lonely. But let me tell you, when you start doing that and attracting the right reasons, the right people, because you're putting out the right vibes, your life is going to soar. You're going to be phenomenal. You're not even going to miss those people. You're going to start seeing. You're going to open up your eyes and be like, wow, that's how I used to live. Those are the people I used to hang out with. You can't save everyone, but you need to worry about saving yourself first. Guys, I love you. Remember to like, share, comment, tag people, spread the hell out of C9 Life, get my videos out there, help me see more, help me see more people, help me view more people, help me get out there to inspire more people to create their own version of a C9 Life. And you guys got to remember, TBS, think, be, stay positive in every single day and every single way, everything that comes your way. You got to remember TBS. And don't forget, send in your submissions, send in topics you want me to cover so I can get better to my audience. I can get more personalized and I will never put your guys' name out there. I just want to help you guys with issues and give you a different mindset and a way to think. Remember, IOG, I offer greatness. Say it to yourself every day. You offer greatness. You can bring it to this world, but it's going to require a bigger, better version of you. Figure out who you are, a self-awareness, and then have that self-acceptance and then take your greatness to the world. I love you guys. Till next Wednesday, stay humble, stay hustling. I love you.